All right. Welcome, citizens one and all, to Craftopia. We're going to go over the basics of farming today. And you know, there are two types of farm plots. One is an empty farm plot, which is these here. And then you also have the wheat farm plot, which we will go into at a later time. But let's jump into this. So you can find quite a few different types of seeds throughout the world. And there are other processes on how to get more seeds, which we will go into detail in another video. But once you find some seeds, you can build these farm plots and then... You want to stand near the center, but not quite. I like to stand right about here. And that will get four seed plots filled in at a time. And then before you have the sprinkler, which you saw behind us working, you need the buckets of water. And these work the same. You can hit four at a time as long as you stand in the right spot. You'll get the buckets of water either from crafting buckets and filling them up yourself. Or if you happen to have the well, you can get the buckets of water that way. Now eventually you'll be able to automate this process. And just come over here to where you have the sprinkler down. Sprinklers are pretty easy to make and it will auto water up to a 4x4 four four section, which is what you see here. That's pretty awesome. And then I tend to punch the crops once they're ready. It's not always the best choice, but we'll let a few of these finish. In the meantime, we'll talk about this machine right here. This is the seed extractor. If you use this, it will extract the seeds from the item you put in there so you'll get additional seeds of that type of crop that you added so that's what we're doing there so make sure to get the seed extractor early on especially if you like a plant that you found you can grow that plant with just you know one seed you'll get more of these sometimes it will improve them not always it just depends on what it is then once this is done again i normally just punch although it does do damage to the crop plot i always punch it you can also farm this with like a pitchfork and it won't do damage but I've not really liked that. So I tend to just punch the crops. It will damage the the, the um, actual item you place down over time. But this is what I do in the meantime. There are ways to automate this as well, which we will go into in a future video. But we're going to wrap it up there, ladies and gentlemen. This is just a very basic how to really start to farm in Craftopia. There are many, many other things going on, and we will get to all that in the future. In the meantime, y'all take care. Enjoy Craftopia.